Hi guys, I got a request here from Marcus Foote from Australia. He's got to make a wind propelled cart from the following. 20 icy pole sticks, a plastic spoon, four, sorry, two red balloons, four milk bottle caps, six skewers, 10 paper clips, two CD discs, five cotton buds, three pencils, 10 rubber bands, and we can use sticky tape to stick it all together. Well, I reckon I can make one with some of those bits. I don't think I'll need all of them. I've got plenty of bamboo skewers. Uh, got some milk bottle tops. Got sticky tape. Got a couple of CDs. I think this is what we'd call icy pole sticks. Um, I'd call them popsicle sticks or lollipop sticks. Balloons. I haven't got any red ones. I've got some other coloured ones. I don't suppose that particularly matters. Plastic spoon. Paper clips. Got paper clips. We'll see what we can do with that. Now I know that I've made a balloon powered or wind powered car before. I copied somebody else's design just to see if I could do it. Um, and that was mainly just barbecue skewers. I'll put a link to that in my video description so you can see that one. But that used four CD wheels. If we're only using two, then I'm going to make it a two-wheeled cart and let it just trail the end of the barbecue skewer along on the ground. I'll use sticky tape to stick the bottle tops to the middle of the CDs on both sides. That's so that we can push a skewer right through the middle and that will give us our hubs for our wheels. And try and get them to line up in the middle as best as possible. Bit sticking over the side.
these particular bottle tops have actually got a little dimple in the middle, so you can see where the middle is. pointy nail would probably be better to make the hole. We've done it. So I'll do the same with the other one. So we've got two wheels on a barbecue skewer axle. I'm thinking of just having two more barbecue skewers going back and when we blow the balloon up we'll just stick it straight on top. Um, I'll show you how in a minute but what I'll probably do is put a couple of these popsicle sticks across, take them in place and to hold the axle onto the end I'm going to bend up a couple of paper clips I'm bending them around the axle now that will be much too tight so what we need to do is having bent it around we then need to back it off a bit Until it's loose again and then I'm going to tape that onto the end of there and that will hold our axle onto the end of the barbecue skewer shafts we'll call them for now so I'll do that on two of them Bend the other one round and then I'll take them in place. So I'll just say that again. You wrap it round at least a couple of times. But that will be much too tight. And then you back it off, unwind it a little bit, and that makes it loose again. And then we'll tape them onto the end of there. Probably easiest to take it back off again, isn't it? I need to wrap that on pretty tight. Right, so that's the general idea. And I should tape, yeah, I'll take a couple of them across. I'm just putting them on temporarily so I get an idea
I reckon if I put a couple more of these on and wrap tape, tape around quite a bit, that should hold them in place. Pulling this tight. So it's bowing. Now I'm going to wrap tape round here inside out. So the sticky's on the outside. Now blow a balloon up. Put it on there and see if that blows it along. Well, that worked. I don't know what sort of distance we were aiming for. That'll be about one, two, three, four. That's about five meters we got there. I've had a couple of goes at this now and I find the tape needs to be fresh. If you try and reuse it, it's not sticky enough and it helps if it's quite loose loops that I'm using. Just putting loose loops with a sticky on the outside build up quite a bit there so the balloon's got plenty of area to grip. That was a good example of a problem. It came loose from the back, flipped over the front and that laying on the front axle slowed it down. So I need a bit more sticky at the back. And that time it stayed in place, but it then dropped underneath and dragged underneath and slowed it down. So I'm going to put another stick across there so it can't drop underneath. Success. And it stopped raining outside. There, the balloon stayed in place all the way. So we did the full length of my kitchen and conservatory, which is about 8 metres. I'll call that a success.